In today's video, I'll show you how to assemble the Orzel K17 electric bike. This bike stands out thanks to its advanced controller, two 1000 watt motors, and improved suspension. The bike arrives in a large shipping box with all parts protected for transport. Carefully open the top of the box. It's reinforced with glue, so it may be a bit tricky. Then remove the loose components, place the box horizontally on the ground, and carefully slide the bike out. Be mindful not to scratch any parts. Rest the bike on one of the foam pieces included in the package. Placing the foam underneath the crank can help the bike stand securely. Note that the wheels are uninflated and the front wheel is attached to the frame for shipping. Checking the contents. In a separate box you'll find the battery and charger. The set also includes cable ties, mounting bolts, pedals, the user manual and a set of wrenches. Carefully cut the cable ties. The bike is partially assembled, but a few components still need to be installed. Start by removing the ties from the front wheel. Next, loosen all four bolts on the handlebar clamp. I'm only using tools included in the kit. Unwrap the handlebar. The display is already attached, so carefully position the handlebar so that you don't pinch any wires. Put the clamp on and lightly tighten all the bolts. Then adjust the handlebar orientation. There's a helpful scale printed on the handlebar to assist with alignment. Once you've got the handlebar positioned correctly, tighten the bolts more firmly. The next step is installing the front wheel. It helps to have another person assist you. Since I didn't have anyone available, I flipped the bike upside down myself. Be sure to place it on something soft so you don't scratch the paint or damage the protruding display. You can use the foam pieces from the packaging. I happen to have some cushions nearby. Raising the saddle so it provides additional support also helps. A special protective cap covers the front hub. It's not screwed on, so you can remove it by tapping one corner lightly with your hand. Then take out the spacer block between the brake pads and remove the plastic covers on the front wheel's motor. In their place, install the special locking washers included in the kit. Next, put the wheel in place. Make sure the checkering washer is oriented properly as shown in the video. Then use the mounting bolts from the set. This is one of the simplest mounting systems I've seen so far. Check to ensure nothing is rubbing against the brake pads and that the wheel spins freely. Look for any damage that might have occurred during transport. Mm -hmm. 
Then, connect the front motor cable and make sure the plug is fully and correctly inserted. Secure the motor cable by tucking it into the special clamp. Remove the protective materials from the rear wheel and lightly inflate both wheels. Next, flip the bike upright and attach the pedals. Each pedal is marked for the correct side, left or right. Tighten them as shown in the video. Then remove any remaining shipping protectors. Do this carefully so you don't scratch the frame's paint. Next, attach the travel bag included in the kit. It has two compartments, and in each one, you'll need to insert the stiffening panels. Secure the sides of the bag to the bike's frame using the special Velcro straps. It's also a good idea to tie the bag to the rear rack so it doesn't fall off while riding. Slide the battery into place as demonstrated in the video. To release it later, you'll need to turn the key to unlock the mount. As for the fenders, there's a bit more work involved. Start by attaching the fender brackets on both sides of the fork. Insert the front fender from the frame side, then fasten the struts to the brackets and lightly tighten them. Remove the bolt that holds the headlight to the front fork. From the frame side, slide in the fender's mounting tab and secure it with the same bolt. Tighten everything while adjusting the headlight height. Then tighten all the bracket bolts, adjusting the fender's height and angle if needed. Finally, double check that everything's in order. At this point, you can charge the battery and get ready to ride. Thanks for watching. In my YouTube shorts and TikTok clips, you can see my first impressions of riding this bike. As usual, once I've ridden it for a while, I'll publish a detailed review. If you're interested in buying this bike now, let me know, I can get you discount code.